Hi, I'm Olivia Castellini. I'm a senior exhibit developer here at the Museum of Science and Industry, and welcome to Science Storms. This is the tornado. It's a 40-foot tall vortex of air. You can stand inside it and feel the wind brush past you. You can control the wind along the height and change the shape. The exhibits in Science Storms are beyond just demonstrations. Visitors can come in, they can be the scientists, they can observe the phenomena that are happening and they can control it and measure it, which is what science is. It was very important for us that people be able to come in and have an experience doing science for themselves. We didn't want to create something where it was you come in, you hit a button, and you see something happen. We really wanted people to get into um, this process of seeing something and having an opportunity in the exhibit space to really investigate that. In the fire exhibit, you get to see the battle between water droplets and the fire as those two things compete to stop the reaction. The Tesla coil is a dramatic display of electricity and magnetism. Charges separate and then recombine in a giant spark. Each one of the experiences starts with um, the basic science, and it builds on that. It draws you into the story. It makes you a part of that story. It gives you an opportunity to participate in the story, and then it helps you draw a conclusion that you can continue to think about and ask questions about long after you've left the museum for the day. The tsunami wave tank is pretty cool because you can create all different kinds of ocean waves as well as tsunami waves. So you choose the amount of energy and then you send that wave down the tank and you watch it propagate and inundate on two different kinds of coastlines. Each of the large-scale media pieces has gorgeous images of phenomena, interviews with scientists and the scientists doing the work that they do, and each of the pieces are organized by a set of key words that emphasize the process of science. Words like observe and wonder, speculate and investigate, and it's, it's a really important theme throughout Science Storms that this is about process. The avalanche is a 20-foot diameter disc filled with garnet sand and glass beads. You control it and watch the forces of gravity and friction pull the sand down the disc to create your own avalanche.
My favorite thing in science storms right now would probably have to be the projectile motion interactive. Something as simple as shooting a basketball, but looking at it scientifically. We want them to ask more questions and to have more questions and also get excited about science. For kids to connect with career opportunities and to see that scientists are not just gray-haired folks in lab coats, you know, in some laboratory. It's the wow that draws you in, and it's the individual personalized experiences that are probably going to give you a chance to learn the most. There are so many cool things to see and do here at Science Storms. You have to come see it to believe it. This gives us a chance to redefine and reinvent what a museum can even be. Just to stand at the entrance to the exhibit and you see the tornado and the avalanche and the sunlight coming in from the roof, it's just an awe-inspiring experience. If people go away with, with new questions and excited about learning more, um, then we will have done our job.